347 rounds of ammunition found hidden in tree in Cambridge St. James. The security forces on Thursday seized 347 assorted rounds of ammunition and 11 magazines at a premises in Awful Gully, Cambridge St. James. The police say five persons were arrested in relation to the seizure. They say about 7.30 a.m. a joint police military team was in the area conducting an intelligence-driven operation when the premises was searched. During the search, the ammunition was discovered at the back of the premises, hidden in a three inside buckets. Investigation continues. Police searching for a gunman in $2 million robbery in St. Elizabeth. The police in St. Elizabeth are searching for a group of gunmen who robbed occupants of a house in Loana Gardens on Thursday afternoon. The men who were armed with high powered rifles reportedly made off with $2 million. The incident happened about 3 o'clock. It is reported that the men entered the premises and robbed the occupants and then escaped. The Black River Criminal Investigations Branch is probing the matter. 18-year-old Trelawney Farmer charged with murder 18-year-old Trelawney Farmer, Vashjeh Murray, was on Thursday charged with the murder of another farmer who was killed in an altercation. The charge is in relation to the death of 45-year-old farmer Vincent Facey of Blind Lane in Warsaw in the parish along the Cotton Tree Main Road. Reports from the Ulster Spring Police are that about 7 a.m. on Saturday, July 27, an altercation developed between Facey, who is from Bot Uptown in the parish, and Murray. The police say a piece of board was brought into play and used to hit Facey repeatedly. Murray reported a run away and hid nearby. Residents stumbled upon Facey's body about 6.30 a.m. the following morning and summoned the police. Murray was arrested during a police operation and was charged on Thursday, August 1, following a question and answer session. His court date is being finalized. Slaughter gone down at a bar in St. Anne. A St. Anne man was shot and killed at a bar in his community of exchange on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as 38-year-old Charles Cooper, otherwise called Slaughter. According to the police, around 8.20 p.m., Cooper was at a bar with a group of people when they were approached by a man. Police say the man had a brief conversation with Cooper before opening gunfire at him. Cooper was said to have been shot in the head. The police were called to the scene and he was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Blackwood, a resident of Exchange, is counting his blessings, noting that he regularly frequents the bar but was not at the location when the incident occurred. Sometimes when we leave work, mother stop by and hold two drinks before we go home. Cause you know, just have a hard day of work, so you just want to let off a little steam before you go home, go sleep and wake up for the next morning. But it's like the spirit talk to me and say, just go straight home. And so, me never did it. When the shooting had gone, he said, It's sad, but me glad me follow me mind, because this stray shot could have catch anybody. Blackwood offered his condolences to the family of the deceased, noting that he might not be frequenting the location for some time. In the meantime, Henry Jeffrey, another resident and senior citizen of the era, is calling on the younger generation to end the violence. A 71-year-old, me there on this earth, I may tell you, them young people here, youth here, are the most heartless me ever see. As you quint them gone for gun or knife or something, me just ask them for just go easy. Remember your mother, your family. Think about how you are going to make it to make them cry if you did. Or think about how you are going feel for God jail. Think about your children, because some of them have children. Think about them man and try to start out things without killing somebody, he stated. Police say at least 34 people have been killed in St. Anne since the start of the year. Abigail James takes home Lasko Nurse of the Year Award. Abigail James, a nurse of the Black River Hospital in St. Elizabeth, was last Saturday crowned the 2024-2025 Nurse of the Year during the annual Lasko Chin Foundation and Nurses Association of Jamaica NAG Awards. The ceremony was held at the Summit Lifestyle and Business Campus, formerly Knox Fort Court Hotel. James is overjoyed to take the coveted title, indicating, I feel privileged and honored yet humbled to know that I would be the second nurse for my institution to be nominated and the first to bring the title to Black River Hospital. She added, I am proud, happy and excited 
As I look forward to serving the next year, the push is not only for my professional growth, but to show young girls in my community that regardless of where you come from, you can be a great one. You just have to put the best foot forward. Your origin doesn't determine your destination. Emphasizing the role of nurses, James expressed that in addition to performing daily duties such as administering care and medication to patients, the nursing community has given birth to great leaders. It is always good for nurses to not be seen as healthcare professionals, but for the entire package. Sometimes it seems as though our roles are restricted, but we stand for different causes, and our interaction in society is at utmost importance, stated James. This statement further underscored the theme, our nurses, our future, the, econ the economic power care. Along with the top trophy, James also walked with a cash price of $200,000 and other awards. Rosal Mendez and David Dyer, both of Mandeville Regional Hospital, were adjusted the first and second runner-ups respectively. Mendez received a $150,000 cash price, while Dyer $100,000. Aisha Anderson of Brownstone Community College School of Nursing topped the field of ninth finalist to be named Nursing Student of the Year. She was awarded $100,000 by LASCO, along with a trophy and other prizes. With one year left of studies, Anderson, who is already a registered midwife, is mentally prepared to stay focused and fully transition into the field. I am now transitioning to becoming a registered nurse midwife, and it can sometimes be overwhelming being an adult student while balancing the responsibilities of a household. So I am immensely grateful that I entered and deeply moved by the significance of this award, she stated. First place runner-up of Nursing Student of the Year was Anika Barnes of Knox Community College School of Nursing, and second runner-up was Cherry Lee Brown of the University of the West Indies of Nursing, Western Campus. Brown also walked away with the Public Speaker Award. The winning nurse school was the Excelsa Community College School of Nursing. During his remarks, Dr. Carlos Wilson, senior medical officer at the Percy Junior Hospital in Manchester, impressed upon the awardees that teamwork makes the dream work. Citing that there are more nurses in the diaspora than those in Jamaica, he expressed the utmost respect for the profession, noting that every Jamaican has interacted with a nurse at some point. From antenatal care to delivery, immunization, acute and chronic care, Nurses continue to leave their mark in the healthcare system in Jamaica. The nurses provide exceptional care to ensure that their patients are taken care of and are capable of fantastic things in assisting patients in the healthcare system, Dr. Wilson noted. Since 1999, LASCA has partnered with the Nurses Association of Jamaica NAG in the annual staging of the National Nurse of the Year program, with over 5,000 nurses practitioners directly and indirectly reached through the program. The Nurse of the Year NOI program is a recognition of pay setters within the profession who have displayed high professional, ethical, and personal development standards. Interested nurses and learned well are encouraged to fill out an application form and submit it to the NAG office. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.